This is Wayne with Chai County Locksmith Service, and this is the Aero Digital Revolution uh, Lever Lock. Um, basically, this is what they've come up with. Uh, there are some videos online showing that these things are pretty durable and tough. They have a good rubber um, rubber gasket, so to speak, uh, to make them weatherproof. You know, the guy burns it with a torch and and does some other things, hits it with the grinder, things like that, to let you know that the screen is going to work. Um, I think it's a pretty decent unit. Uh, I've installed about 10, 11, 12 of these now, um, and they've been in service for over two years, and I haven't had to do anything to them. Uh, they actually lasted long enough that the company that, that, that I installed them on uh, built a new building, and we moved these locks into the new building. Everything seemed to be fine with them. Um, you know, as soon as you touch this, you cannot touch it with one finger. You have to use multiple for your screen to come up. And then your screen will come up nice in blue lettering or numbers like so. You will then enter the code. Okay. Star is going to be access, so that's going to grant you access. Just like so, for a limited time. And then it will disengage. You'll have the sound and the automation with this. One of the nice features is that sound and automation for the end user, if you push pound, mode. Enter number. Press the pound key to continue. it talks you through everything. So basically we can come over here and we can listen to what, it, what all the menu options are and it walks the customer through step by step for the end user. Register master code. Press the pound key to register user code. Press the pound key to continue. Passage mode. Press the pound key to continue. So we got passage mode. Silent mode. Silent. Press the pound key. So you don't have to listen to this thing all the time. Language setting mode. Press the pound key. I think it's got like five or eight languages in there. All code lockout mode. Press the pound key to continue. Lock the whole thing down. User code lockout mode. Press lock setting mode. Press register yeah. master code. So we're gonna go Press back to the that. And then we'll reset it. The pin code is already used. Try again. Okay. So, that's how you set your master code Registered. and any of the other codes that you want to set in here. Um, you know, from the inside, it's pretty sleek. Uh, it's got the little speaker right here. Your batteries are right under here. Four AA batteries is all that it's going to take to run this unit. Um, let's see here. Yeah, they just go right there. So, it's pretty easy to change them out. Uh, and then if all else fails and this lock completely shuts off, um, you do have a key, like so, that will override, give you momentary bypass, right there, just like that, either direction, and you also have, if the batteries die, um, I don't know if they do it still or not, oh, the, the older models used to have a 9 volt battery you could hook up under here, but I guess this model doesn't anymore. Nobody probably used it, you probably don't think to use it if the screen doesn't come on. You just assume that it's broke and you have to go in a different way and use a manual key override. Uh, it does have a low battery sensor. It will tell you whether you're in passage, locked or unlocked mode. Uh, it will display that on the screen. So all in all, um, for your moderate uh, commercial use, I would recommend this lock. Um, storefronts, things like that, I think it would be fine. Uh, you can set it into a passage mode. Uh, if you're just trying to keep a room more secured and you don't want people wandering off into there, uh, these are a great setup for that. Um, using it too commercially, you know, hospital, police station, um, airport, probably not. I would think this lock would get uh, beat up and, and wore out pretty quick uh, in, in that much, in that high of a traffic area. Um, price points right around 500 bucks retail. Uh, and they're a decent unit. Like I said, I've got a, uh, at least 12 of them out in the field uh, for over two years, maybe even going on three now, and no issues to report whatsoever. They get used uh, fairly heavily, and um, people like them. The only complaint I've gotten as well is on the outside, seeing this blue numbers, seeing the blue numbers uh, in direct sunlight can be a bit of an issue. So that is something to take in consideration. Uh, they are pretty weatherproof. I haven't had any problems with the weather affecting them, uh, but the sun 
and being able to see has been a little bit of an issue. So if they're installing them in interior doors, uh, it's going to be a great setup. For a cost-efficient setup, um, you know your Kava locks are going to run around 400 bucks. These are going to give you more, much more options, be a little bit more secure um, for that $500 mark. And then if you want, you know, you could jump up to like the very high end, eight, nine hundred dollar alarm locks. Um, but as far as standalone access is right there in the middle where it's got a decent price and uh, it holds up well. So for more information, check out the website below and share this video. Um, you know, put it out there on YouTube or put it out there on Facebook, Twitter, uh, G+. Spread the knowledge around. Uh, let some other people see reviews on products and make up their own mind for themselves. Have a good day.